The presence of thyroid hormone is essential for remodelation. It influences differentiation of LPCs and immature oligodendrocytes, which are the cells that make myelin. They also, it also reduces inflammation and promotes a conducive environment for the repair and generation of myelin in the central nervous system. ASD. T4 is one of a small group of thyroid hormones, including T3 and thyroid stimulating hormone, which I have decided I'm going to start tra t keeping track of. I have my blood taken every few months. Most T4 is converted into T3 in peripheral tissues, such as the liver and kidney, as well as muscles. The reason I'm starting to t track my thyroid hormones is because I want to stay safe. I recommend you do the same thing. I feel like I'm trying to thread a needle in a very, very small hole. You don't want too much, but you don't want too little. I have been consuming Lugo's iodine since 2018. But after my first test of this, it was painfully clear that it wasn't working as well as I thought it was. So I decided to switch to a different iodine solution. It's called nascent iodine. Nascent iodine is often claimed to have higher bioavailability than Lugo's iodine. And many say that nascent iodine is more readily absorbed and usable by the body, allowing efficient utilization up here in the central nervous system. So when I was at my doctor's for my for that hormone uh, check, I brought this whole uh, this all up with him and he was vehemently against what I was doing. He was so insistent I shouldn't supplement iodine at all. But I beg to differ. Although MS primarily affects the central nervous system true, it also has a secondary effect on the systems in the body, including the endocrine system, which controls hormone production. Simply put, MS leads to changes in thyroid hormone levels. And I can tell you, I can tell you, the argument could be made that the changes are more significant than what my doctor even thinks. This paper is clear and straightforward in its titling. Thyroid hormone potentially benefits multiple sclerosis by facilitating remyelination. <sighs> Need I say more? I only state the title because it's only accessible to a scientific institution and only available for purchase. But the title and the abstract are up there and they are all I need to strengthen my result that iodine supplementation, in my case, is vital. And I won't, I'll never give it up. I must have radiated that insistence to him because he quickly moved on and suggested we set up a four month monitoring system. So I, a few days ago, I, I did it. And I got the results back. <sighs> and those results make it more apparent than ever that I'm on the right track. Let me show you. First, let's look at my T4 thyroxine levels. Here was my first record in July. Well, you can see 
it's in the green, true. It, it signifies normal levels, but it's on the low end. And after supplementing Lugo's iodine since 2018, shouldn't it be higher? Well, it tells me that Lugo's wasn't working for me in what I wanted it to at least. Okay, let's look at my T3 levels. What they recorded is different between the two different times I've had it done. One was free T3, and the other was total T3. And those numbers are a little bit different, but the graph range shows more than just the numbers. It appears T3 is the same as T4. It's, it's just scratching the bottom in July. Before I ate nice and iodine, now it's smack dab in the middle, right where I want to be. The last but not least, thyroid stimulating hormone, or TSH. Well, TSH is the counterbalance your body employs to make sure your hormones are stable. The concentration of thyroid hormones, T3 and T4, in the blood regulates the, really, the pituitary release of, of TSH. When T3 and T4 concentrations are low, well, the protection of TSH is increased. And conversely, when T3 and T4 concentrations are high, TSH production is decreased. But here, that glaring dilemma appears. In my July reading, both my T3 and T4 were low. And my, T and my TSH was anything but high. <sighs> now though, my TSH is towards the top of the range. And my T3 and T4 are not low in the slightest. I believe everything is high because my brain is using all the hormone it needs to make new myelin. I'm so confident in claiming that for one simple reason. I haven't expressed to you, well, maybe I've tried, but I, I wish you could, I could, wish I could express more clear everything I feel. It's like a million little things are going off in my head. Little changes, amazing changes, just tiny things. The past few months have been eye-opening. But it's ramped up just in this past month. I can't wait to discover what this next MRI will show, even if it appears like it's very little. Do you have a guess? I don't know. I mean, I definitely care. Don't get me wrong. But I don't care. Do you know what I mean? I know I'm not making much sense. Let me put it another way. More than any other time since my diagnosis in 2004, I feel what the MRI will say matters very little because my MS feels so good. <sighs> if this isn't remyelination, I don't know what is. To me, it's just simply undeniable. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. Until the next one.